What's up, YouTube? I'm Cool40 here. I am Cool Games, giving you guys my Devil Survivor 2 deck profile. I um, actually picked this up quite some time ago. I've been messing around with it, modifying it, um, having a lot of fun with this deck. Um, very, very, very fun deck. I'm not going to lie about that. Uh, the combos that you can actually pull off with Hibiki and Y Shores are actually really ridiculous. Uh, so I wanted to profile this because of the countless requests I've been getting to actually talk about Y Shores on this channel. So, to start things off, uh, four of the grade zero Hibiki. Uh, for those of you that don't know what he does, uh, he's a general 500 assist to all of your characters, not just in front of him. And then basically when another one of your characters gets tapped, uh, or killed, basically. Uh, you send the top card of your deck under it as a marker, and then when it has, I believe, yeah, 11 counters, uh, you can send it to the graveyard to call out a Lucifer, uh, which is a grade 3 anywhere in rest, uh, if I recall right. But the thing is, he's good for compression. Uh, compression wins you games. Uh, and that's very important, something that uh, makes this particular deck good, in my opinion. Next up, 3 of the grade, 0. Um, he gives 1500 to a Yamato, and also powers up Hibiki. Uh, in your early game, and in your mid game, uh, he becomes powerful for getting over barriers, especially in your level 1 game. Uh, and personally, the fact that even on turn 0, or level 0, uh, he can manipulate game state and make certain things better than others. Um, one... Uh, Fumi, just like her because she gives all of your characters a thousand, and or your front character a thousand, excuse me, and then you can pay one to uh, draw a card and discard a card from your hand. So just a free deck thinning. Uh, next up, the one of tap two of your characters middle the top four. If you hit any climaxes, you can search your deck for any characters. Uh, considering you have an amazing compressor, uh, you really don't need any more of these because this deck does have. A really good amount of draw power. Uh, next up, two of uh, Irie, the active girl. Basically, pay one, discard a card from your hand, um, search your deck for any summoner, and add it to your hand. Uh, really ridiculously good card. Um, can't not be surprised by how many times this card, just when you need to start setting up uh, your combos, this card will win you in games. Uh, and then triple early game, Mr. 4K. Um, if you have two or less stock, uh, he's 1500 power. So 4K beats early game. So good. Uh, that's it for zeros. Uh, as for ones, we have three of the 55 beater. Uh, it's just a free drop for 55. And it has Yamato in its name, uh, which is actually pretty important here. Uh, next up, we have the Climax Comboer. Um, when you have the appropriate comic Climax, which is this, which you do play four of. So, this Climax, combined with this, basically you can discard a card from your hand when this is in your Climax zone. And you can recruit your deck for one character with Hibiki and Yamato. And add them to your hand. So it's a free search by just discarding a card. Uh, this also gives you a card when you play it. So you get to draw one from this. You can just simply discard the card, and then you get to recruit uh, for two cards from him. Uh, it's an insanely dangerous combo, uh, and it's one of the things that makes this deck very strong. So four of each of those. Three of the Dragon stream. Uh, basically, as long you can only play this if you have Yamato, and he biggie. Uh, one of your characters gains 4,000 power until the end of your opponent's next turn, and then you send this into memory. So it helps out with compression, and it allows your characters to remain really big even on your opponent's turn. And then just two level one backup uh, to ensure that your already decently big monsters can survive. Next up, the changer in the deck. Uh, basically, he's your general sister, much like Madoka has X power for the level of the character. And then you can pay to discard a card from your hand at the beginning of your climax phase, and then search out Yamato's uh, last battle and put it in the same slot where this card was. Um, it's only 5k, 
but you don't have to worry about that because you just change it off right away. Uh, climax change are extremely, extremely good. Uh, next up, just two level two backup. Uh, that free 3000 backup is always good. Uh, and then two of the when I'm down card, I'm going to start to try to win now. Basically, when your opponent's character opposite of this is grade, or, yeah, grade 3 or higher, uh, gains 3,000 power. So it's a 10,500 grade 2 that cost 1. Seems good. Especially against those early game changes. Uh, 2 Lucifer, they're just in here because um, there will be times where you're like, alright, well, I got off Hibiki, or if you need discard fodder, uh, he's here for you to feed it off. Next up, Triple of the Shining One Hibiki. Uh, basically, play it, you heal, um, and that's really only his really major upside. Uh, the thing is, we don't have the appropriate climax for him, so it's just play one and heal. Uh, the one that's going to do most of your work for you is going to be Yamato of the Last Battle. Basically, when it's placed on your hand via stage, um, when this card battles your opponent's character and you reverse it, you can send it into the library for the turn. So it goes un underneath. And then when you have the appropriate climax, Demon Fusion, here, he gains an additional 4,000 until the end of your opponent's turn. So he's a 14,000 beater combined with Demon Fusion, which will make it 15,000. Uh, strong enough to get over any threat that you see fit. So this is my spin on Double Survivor. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this deck profile. Uh, please thumbs up this video uh, to tell me what you guys thought about this deck. Uh, by no stretch of the imagination is this deck perfect, uh, but for the time being, I'm having a lot of fun with it. So, yeah, like I said, if you guys want to see more content from my shorts, leave a comment down below and communicate that with me. Later, guys.